Hi YouTube, this is a video response um, to Vampire S. Jarrett about what goths are about. Um, I think, like, all the issues that she's addressed, like, I, I wrote them down as for reference. Um, I think most of them would, I would probably say, tend to come from people who have either just got into goth or um, especially the one where, um, which is like, oh, I don't care where I work, like, I'll do, I'll pierce my whole face and whatever, and I don't care. Um, anyone who really truly thinks that, here's a bit of advice. You need to pay your bills, you need to put food on the table. Any job is a job. I've recently been unemployed and I finally got a job and I'm like, yes, and I'm putting in so much overtime just trying to make up because I want to try and get back my savings. Seriously, any job is a good job. I really want to, there's so much things I want to do, I want to get my lip pierced. I, um, I really want to do something really crazy with my hair but because of the company I work for they're very um, <clears throat> you have to conform to it at least to a degree I mean if you really really want to do stuff like that um, like and you've or you've managed to get a job but you can't do what you want to do so just to satisfy yourself you could there are like especially if you're a girl um, because um, we can wear, we can express our our gothness through our makeup. Like uh, I've started doing my raccoon eyes again at work now, and it's pretty much been established that I am the goth at work. Like every every kind of um, office or work things, they, there's usually a, a joke. Like if they have a goth, it's like, oh yeah, it's the goth at work. You know, it's goth in the office kind of thing. Um, I can actually say that I've never shopped in Hot Topic because I'm English. We didn't have Hot Topic in England, so I can actually say I've never shopped in Hot Topic. I know it sounds really silly, but yeah. Um, most most of the issues are kind of... It's just... Like, I only modify all my... I modify all my clothes, like... Really? Seriously? I think if you're really into that and you love textiles and you, yeah, that's fine. But um, no, that's yeah, that's definitely a lie. I really listen to goth music again. Someone who's only just gotten into goth or they're quite young and and think that oh yeah, it's like you have to be, in order to be goth, you have to wear black and you have to listen just the Cure and Susie and the Banshees and every every all the original like goth things and you have to watch all horror movies and oh yeah everything you love has to be goth otherwise you're not goth uh i do have my goth confessions video um go to i'll put a link to that down below um to prove that you know i'm still goth but there are things that aren't goth that i like um I would love to say, like, the the last point um, that she made is that, oh, my whole house is goth. I would love that. But my fiancé is just like, mm, no, you're not doing that to my house. So I think that's kind of fair enough. It depends upon who you live with. I mean, if you really want to do that, then that's great. And if you can actually get away with doing it, that's, that would be really cool. But um, I think it's, I don't know. I. I'm just I'm I'm going to do some like definitely gothic touches. You'll go into my house and definitely recognise that a goth will live there. Um, <coughs> I only wear black. I wear mostly black. I do actually. I'm start. I am wearing more colours now. Um, obviously, my work has a uniform, which is kind of annoying. So I'm usually wearing that on a day-to-day -day basis. But it being winter, I've gotten out my corduroy Emily the Strange coat, so you can see people will see see me in the streets like, oh yeah, goth, even though I've got my uniform on underneath. Uh, I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think that's good, um, to a degree. Um, I think there are situations where you have to care what other people think. Like for example, you're going to see your nan. Um, like. 
people, I think a lot of people forget, especially when they're young teenagers getting into golf. I think they, for, I think they forget that um, their nan are from a different, your grandparents are from a different generation where they, um, they haven't seen this, and it might be not frightening, but kind of the typical goth look would make them nervous unless you're a Victorian goth um, or something along those lines um, they'd probably f find it kind of threatening um, so I usually use that as an excuse to get out um, my kind of my velvet finery and stuff and um, I get to I do get a bit fancy with it when I go to see my nan um, if I can't be bothered to do that I'll just generally just tone down my look I do have a pair of normal jeans that I tried to dye black and failed so I just kind of wear that and clothes that I would wear to a job interview um, just you can still wear all black but you could be smart about it um, so that's one ex that's one example of situations where you have to care about what other people think generally I'm really think I'm trying to think oh I, I try not to care what other people think because ultimately if someone sees you in the street and doesn't like and doesn't like what you look like that's their problem to deal with not yours you don't have to and that's why it's and that's what it means to kind of not care what people think the point uh, what that means to, to say that is to be comfortable wearing what you want without thinking about oh yeah I'm gonna get I'm oh yeah I'm gonna get pointed at and laughed at for wearing this or whatever you know it's just like everyone's going to react differently anyway so why why bother caring um, another point was my parents are okay with me being goth I think it can be it can't it, I, I can understand why someone would lie about that but at the same time it's just why would you want to lie about that anyway I mean I've heard, I do, I have heard of, I do have a lot of friends whose parents don't really approve. Um, I'm, I would probably describe, my personality is quite gothic, but I kind of, I, I'm more like a metal head in a lot of respects. I'm actually decided that my wedding's going to be a heavy metal wedding. My nan does not approve, I can tell. Um, but my mum's pretty awesome. She does, my she does, she she's definitely okay with me being gothic. Um, my dad is massively into rock and stuff anyway, so um, he doesn't really mind it. And my mum's just all kinds of awesome. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. I mean, she even borrowed some of my clothes for a few things. Like uh, she borrowed it for this um, thing she did, like a, a set, a play, or some and all sorts. Uh, I think I've addressed pretty much everything. Oh, I only listen to goth music. That's... I understand why goths would lie about that, because it's the whole, oh, you're not goth if you don't listen to goth music kind of thing, and you're kind of... I, I think the reason why a goth would lie about that is because to try and um, go with the stereotype that is kind of expected of you, um, like by the by the like society and the mainstream. Um, don't get me wrong, I love goth music. I've actually been listening to The Cure a lot lately, um, and I recently noticed at work. I work in a restaurant. Um, they've been actually playing a lot of Depeche Mode. This pleases me. I was really happy at work the other day because they played the cult Depeche Mode and some other band, I can't remember what it was. I recognised the song, but I can't remember the name. I couldn't think of the name of the band. It's really frustrating. Um, and so yeah, that's... Da -da -da -da, yeah, I've addressed all these. Um, final thoughts about it. I am... Um, ooh, my ribs coming undone. So I just got out of the shower earlier before before this. This is why my hair's all weird. Uh, final thoughts on these, like, what goths I about it kind of makes sense to lie about a few things because you're kind of playing up the whole stereotype for because it's just expected of you but on the flip side 
It's just, you shouldn't really have to lie about this kind of stuff. It's just pointless. I mean, you should just kind of be, it's, it's good to be an honest person. And I think ultimately everyone should be aiming to be as honest as they can. Um, if not with other people, then at least with yourself. Um, just kind of be true to yourself is my, the main message and pretty m most of my videos which tend to be about goth and not witchcraft which is what I've been doing a lot recently I'm researching for my book now but anyway that, I'm babbling so um, that'll be the end of this video and thank you for watching bye